Did Kyle Busch injure his wrist in Sunday's Breakyard 400? Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Today, we are turning into Break Hard Investigates. Did Kyle Busch injure his left wrist at the Brickyard 400 on Sunday? So if you watched the race, you know in the closing laps, he attempted to pass Denny Hamlin going into turn three, entered very low, as you can see on the video right here, ends up spinning out, hits the wall, not ideal for him. But it's what happens after the race that's kind of got some people on the internet now wondering if he did actually get hurt in that incident. It's been a bad run of luck for Kyle Busch basically over the last two months. His entire summer of 2024 he wants to go ahead and forget that let's just go ahead and get to the fall maybe even just get to 2025 maybe even just get out of Richard Childers racing if that's even possible at this point but he's not having a very fun time he continues to wreck out continues to get caught up in incidents continues to try to put himself in a better position like he was on Sunday and apologize to the team saying I tried to get them the top five they deserved and ended up wrecked basically after that but after the race, he pushes Bubba Wallace back to pit road. Bubba ran out of fuel. Kyle, being the good guy that he is, as we all know, pushes Bubba Wallace back to pit road. It's when he gets out of the car, though. He seems to be favoring his left wrist. You see him take a look at it. And then when Bubba comes over to give him a fist bump and a thank you, Kyle leaves his left hand down, his left arm down, fist bumps him with his right arm, and then continues to try to take off the chin strap on his helmet with just his right hand. And on the video here that you can see, he eventually also needs help getting his helmet off because he's just trying to do that with one hand. Not the easiest thing in the world if you've ever tried to do it. So uh, nobody, I think, really paid attention to that until... Samantha Bush, his wife, posted on Instagram, an Instagram story, a family photo of them in Italy for their off week. They're over there vacationing. Italian Kyle Bush is certainly a version I would like to see just decked out in linen. Kyle Bush wearing linen just does not make sense to me, but I'm sure uh, it probably feels great. Breathes super well. If you've never worn linen before, it breathes really, really well. I digress. But in that photo, he has a brace on his left wrist. Now, this is going to turn into the Joe Burrow. Was his wrist injured? Was he wearing a sleeve on it? Did they not report it? This and that. I don't think it's going to get to that far, but I did break out the investigative glasses today. I can't see a dang thing right now. I got contacts and glasses on. I zoomed in on that photo. Yeah, it appears that he does have some sort of brace on his wrist. To make it a little bit more interesting, Samantha Bush deleted that photo that she had up on her Instagram story and then uploaded a new photo where you cannot see Kyle Bush's uh, left arm, left wrist, and that potential brace that he has on it right there. So for Kyle Bush, the run of bad luck this summer just absolutely continues for him. Now, he's had a bad run of it, right? Like he's still trying to get that first victory this year to continue his win streak on a win streak that I would love to see him continue because again, I've said it before, I think it's one of the coolest records in NASCAR. But for Kyle, hopefully his wrist isn't that injured. Obviously he flew, you know, internationally. If it was super injured, we would have seen a cast on him or he probably doesn't go if it needs surgery or anything like that. I mean, heck, we just saw Alexander Rossi break his thumb at the IndyCar practice up in Toronto uh, a little over a week ago. He had surgery on it and he's already getting uh, the cast and everything off to start his rehab on that. So for Kyle, if something bad, unfortunate was going to happen in terms of an injury, having to happen right now where basically he has essentially three weeks off, two race weekends off to, to, you know, heal from it is the best course of action. I don't think that he broke it. Obviously we can't even talk about HIPAA, right? Anytime you can't pry into somebody's medical information, but I'm just assuming that that brace looks more like a, you know, a sp when you sprain your wrist, sprain your ankle, you put some sort of brace wrap on it, something along those lines. That's what it appears to be right there. I'm not a medical professional. Shocking to some of you. I know I have a lot of information in this big brain, yeah, when it comes to medical information stuff, not so much, unless you need to know how to set up an EKG, which I can do that to myself, which is a skill that I probably wish I didn't have, but hey, we've got that down. But for Kyle, I think that his wrist is going to be fine, uh, but it is fun to, funny, not fun, Injuries are never fun. It is funny to see the internet just wildly speculate on a day where the speculation about Kyle Busch's future was already just absolutely spreading like wildfire. And now not only does he have to, well, he's out of the country, so he doesn't have to answer a dang thing. Phones don't work internationally. Everybody knows that. Don't even hook up to the Wi-Fi. Who cares? Don't buy the don't buy the calling plane when you're over there. Don't even get the international SIM card. You don't need it. Just absolutely <laughs> ignore what's happening back in the United States for a few weeks or a week or whatever, however long he's over there. Um, but yeah, obviously Kai Wish's name continues to come up with Spire. 
and whether or not he could end up over there replacing Corey LaJoy, the ultimate payback, just steal the man's job like he's Max or Stoppin and Danny Kafiat over here. But uh, not going to steal his wife and or, you know girlfriend and kid as well. That was that would just be terrible. But for Kyle. Uh, obviously, people continue to speculate if he could end up at Spire next year. Bob Parker says he doesn't expect Kyle Busch to end up over there. I, I think that it's probably a 40-60 from what I heard as well. I don't necessarily know if he's going to end up there. Uh, I have heard a few interesting things, which could just be more pure speculation than, than anything, which, you know he has a deal in place and that's kind of what happens when you sign, sign these contracts. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Kyle Busch in his future, whether he will back at RCR in 2025, which obviously they picked up as option. So contractually, he's supposed to be back there next year. But of course, stranger things have happened. Spire, I can't imagine that they fire Corey LaJoy and, and replace him with a rookie driver or somebody else in a more lateral move. It just does not make sense for that especially with some of the other personnel things i've heard going on over there it feels like they would want to make a big splash but for kyle bush hopefully his wrist is okay hopefully he enjoys his italian vacation uh, i don't think they race dirt cars over there so he and brexton are gonna have to find something new to do maybe they just turned into formula one fans i also think larson's headed in or is in europe this weekend as well half of the nascar grid appears to be in Europe or headed that direction or internationally at some point. So good for all of them for getting some time off. For Kyle Busch, hopefully he puts some ice on it. Um, what is it? Rice, rest, ice, something. I don't know what the rest of it stands for right there. I did not pay attention in physiotherapy class. So for Kyle Busch, hopefully his wrist is okay. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.